Invisible Hand started entirely by accident, um, and I was walking past my local, you know, key food supermarket, and I saw a lot of elderly folk going in and out, and I just remember feeling kind of uncomfortable and being like, God, I wish there were a way that I could, like, go in and do their shopping for them. Within 72 hours, we had over 1,300 volunteers. Part of the biggest aspect of Invisible Hands is the social connection of it all. You get a lot of people calling and saying, I just need someone to talk to. Invisible Hands is really about community and helping out their neighbors that they don't even know. To know that this organization has been able to be that connective tissue is incredibly reaffirming and does give me faith that we will be able to pull through this.